Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nanda Lintang Utara Kuncahyo, and I go by Nanda. Here I'm with my honorable lecturer, Mem Hikmatul Mashpuria. In this special occasion, we would like to present our article. The title is Webcast as a Media in Teaching Vocabulary for Young Learners. This article is written by our group that consists of me, Memria as the lecturer of media class, and my friends, Nikelintang Pertiwi, Hani Maulidia Hasana, Galu Elina Turbinita, Ahmada Mulkizakia, and Fatur Rahman. For the first topic, I will invite Memria to present about the introduction. For Memria, time is yours. Okay, thank you very much, Nanda. Okay, everyone, we go to the introduction. Here we have to know about the webcast first. Webcast here is a computer-based teaching and learning model in which learners are actively involved in an activity or situation and use the internet as a resource. This is uh, mentioned by Halat in 2008. Next. Okay, the challenges and problem that inspired the students to do this research is the, the elementary school students are mostly bored with learning vocabularies. That's why the teacher must have uh, some new innovation to make a medium that suitable with the material and the learners. What is the benefit then? Okay, the benefit of using webcasts here is the students can explore the material more. The students can develop a deeper understanding of the problem and get more information from webcasts. The webcast here provides access to online resources to encourage higher order thinking. Okay, then we go to the next slide. And it's, it is about the literature review. Actually, there are some um, researchers that uh, find the definition of webcast medium. And one of them is uh, Dolkery. He said that webcast is a web-based activity that encourages students to use the internet to learn the solution for real life problems through collaborative contribution. Because in this webcast, the students will ask to explore more about their knowledge. Okay, then we go to the method of this research. Here, uh, we go a little bit uh, to qualitative uh, research design, but we go with RMD, research and development. And the, uh, the subject of this research is the webcast is, it, itself. Okay, then the data collection technique, we go to the RMD method, please. Okay, the data collection technique and the process of the RMD here, the first, we come with the problems. Based on the problems, we do the observation about uh, the student's problem and what is the best solution for uh, the student's problem, what is the best medium that we can purchase. Then we go to the product design. We do the planning, we, uh, we make the planning of the product the students, uh, actually the students, make the product design first, then they validate the design product to the lecturer. The lecturer there give the advice and they are asked to revise the product. They do the first trial in a, a college classroom. Then their friends will give some suggestions or uh, addition for the product. Then they can go 
to the first revision, the, the next revision for uh, from the first trial, then in a second trial, they do the trial to the teacher of the elementary school students and uh, ask for the validity of the product. Is it suitable or not? The product is webcast. They validate uh, the webcast. Is it uh, suitable for the elementary students with a certain topic or not? Then uh, the teacher give some advice and they do the revisions. Then finally, they make the final product. Okay, then next we are going to the finding and discussion. Then we go to Nanda, please. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Next is finding and discussion. As ma'am Ria said, the researcher chose uh, webcast as the media for interactive and innovative learning. The webcast aims to help the young learner to add their vocabulary about vegetables and fruits easily and enjoyable. Next, the researcher found that webcast is suitable to teach young learner about vocabulary. We did a present presentation to the element elementary school too. According to the elementary teacher, webcast that the researcher created is suitable to teach the third grade student of elementary school with the note that the webcast is more appropriate for the small group of students. Probably it's just five or 10 students. Next, it's about the apl application of the webcast. So we are going to the link of our webcast that was created by the researcher. To make it simple and faster, I screenshot the picture of our webcast here. So in this webcast, there are seven pages. However, for students, they only can access five pages. First is welcome, introduction, tax, process, evaluation, and conclusion. For the first page is welcome. It is the description about our webcast. In this webcast, it's about vegetables and fruits. Next is the introduction. Students can click the introduction menu here in the left side. In this introduction, it is the description of our webcast. It's contains the material, what, what is the vegetables, what is the fruits, like that. Next, students can click the text page. Here in the text page, it is a description about the assignment that students can do. For example, here there are five texts and there is a YouTube video that students uh, can watch and learn. Next is about the process tax. In the process tax, it contains about the link of uh, the assignment. Students, so students can click the link and do the assignment inside of this link. Next page is evaluation. Here in this page, student can evaluate uh, the assignment have been they 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 do. This is the example of, of the exercise, the tax, like this. So next is conclusion. It is the conclusion. After students access all of the tax, we hope that the students can know what is the vocabulary of fruits and vegetables. They can watch, listen, and understand about the fruits and vegetables, the vocabulary, I think like that for the webcast application. Next is about conclusion. So as I said before, we did a presentation to the elementary teacher. His name is Ahmad, Mr. Ahmad Zulkarnain. He is a teacher of elementary school of Wan Gedongan. He said that webcast 
our webcast is suitable to apply for young learners, especially for the third grade students. He said too that it is an innovation in the technological era for learning activities, especially for fun learning in young learners. However, webcasts can apply properly when the teacher teaches in a bilingual or private school that uses English as students is first language. Next is suggestion. After we did uh, research, there are two suggestions here. First is the media of our webcast is suitable when used in tutorial institution. And second, um, webcast use the internet connection so that uh, there is a possibility that students open other application on their devices. Therefore, they need more control from the teacher during learning. That's all about the conclusion and suggestion. So it is the end of our presentation. Thank you. If you have any question, please uh, ask me or Memria. Thank you so much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.